So in this video, I want to show you how to use the count ifs formula in Excel. You'll notice down here at the bottom, I have four different formulas that you'll be able to see the entire time. And what count ifs allows you to do is to go in and count, say, the number of A's, B's, or C's, count the number of scores between a range or scores that are greater than or less than. So this is a very useful formula when you start to try to look at large numbers of data. So we're going to start with this counting letter grade. So I'm going to come up here and see count as, and I'm going to say equals, and then I'm going to say count ifs, and then I'm open parentheses, then you'll notice down here, so D2 colon D13, and then a comma, then I'm going to use quotation marks for A. And then I'm going to close that and hit enter. And you'll notice it tells me there are four. So you'll see here one, two, three, four A's. I can come over here and do the same thing with the B's. So equals count ifs. Same range. So it would be D2, D13, comma, and then parentheses, B, close quotation marks, close parentheses once again and then C's, so count ifs, my range, and then my quotation marks for C, and then close that. Now the reason I chose to do down to 13 is because I can come over here and I can add and I can say A, and I can say B, and you'll notice over here that the, cha that the count changes. So that A and that B, when they come up now, all of a sudden I have this. If I change this A to a C, it changes my formula here. So it's counting the number of letter grades. So this would tell me there are four A's, five B's, and two C's in my class. Now over here, I want to count the number of scores that are 100. Now obviously I, can know, I know that this is going to be two when just looking at it here. But if I have 180 students, I want to be able to count that without having to manually do it. So I'm going to go equals, and I'm going to say count ifs again. And my range this time will be C2 to C13. But instead of using quotation marks, I'm just going to put the number and then close the parentheses and hit enter. So then it tells me 2. So if I were to make this 100, you'll notice that count becomes a 3. Okay, now this next one's a little more complicated, but just as usual. So I'm going to look at this counting a range. So what I'm going to say is count ifs, and then I'm going to choose my range, so this is C2 to C13, then I'm going to say quotation marks, and I want to see everything between 84 and a 93, so everything greater than an 84, and then within that same range, I want to see everything that is less than a 93. So it tells me there are four. So if I come over here and I make this score an 88, you'll notice it changes to five. If I make it an 84, it changes it back to four. If I make this a 92, it changes it to five. So all the scores between an 84 and 93, of which they were a total of five. Okay, now, to count greater than or less than. So I want to look at counting grades that are greater than an 85. So I'm going to say equal. Count ifs, choose my range, C2 to C13. So I'm looking at greater than. So when I choose greater than, so I'll use my quotation marks. So then there's three grades that are greater than a 90, that are greater than, and I choose 93, so I need to make that an 85. So there are eight grades that are greater than an 85. I can also do less than. So choose my range again. So C2 to C13. Once again with my quotation marks. And then there's seven grades less than a 93. So you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I were to change this 100 to an 85, that number would change to 8. This one changed to 7. Change that back. You'll see both numbers change automatically. 
So these formulas are really helpful for me to get an idea. If I wanted to know how many students scored within a specific range, I want to know how many kids scored a specific grade, a letter grade, I could even use uh, a whole entire word. I could have these say proficient or not proficient, and I could actually count the ones that say proficient. So instead of down here, instead of saying A, I would just say proficient. So count ifs is a really, really good formula to use when you're trying to look at data and trying to get an idea of the numbers of certain things.